Welcome back to another episode of Kerbal Hard and Uncut. And yeah, we are um, we're still failing this mission, so we're gonna we're gonna get this craft down right now. We don't need to waste our time doing anything too much. We're gonna leave that thing in orbit. In fact, I'm taking this thing down right now. We're taking it right down right now. Orbital speed, retrograde. There we go. Just get me down. Get me down out of this, please. I want to be gone out of this situation. I want to just land here in the ocean. I don't want to waste my time. Is that the case? That's not the case. See, I just want to land now. Just, just make it happen. Occurring, please. Right. So we can just. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna time me. Why me warp it a bit? And there we go. We're gonna let that happen. And uh, do that. And then you know what? Just come on. Let's go. Let's go. 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 I want to go down. I want to go down. Um, right, I'm gonna kill myself because I've gone too far. I've gone. I've changed it too much. Right, um, there we go. Do that. Timey wimey through the atmosphere. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Little, little cool that down. Yeah, nice, 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 nice. You know, I wonder if I can land the whole thing. Let's, uh, let's see. Let's see if we can land the whole thing with some drogue shoots. If nothing else, we'll get a tank out of it. Maybe two tanks. I think we're maybe overdoing it with the tanks actually. Um, Deploy those, see what happens. May, may or may not work. There we go, nice and easy. And then um, we'll deploy that one when it gets near enough. Yeah, deploy that. There we go. Um, so we're going to kill the first uh, three minutes of this episode with me failing. So there we go, another another standard thing. We'll turn that off, actually. Interesting little uh, arrow that's got there flipping around as much as it does. Right, uh, we're going to come down in some trees. Oh, now, have I landed in this biome before? That would be quite good if it was a new biome. Maybe this is hills. This would be hills. This would be great. Let's try crew report. Uh, flying over highlands. Oh, cool. So I should be able to get an EVA report. I can't get a soil sample, but I could get an EVA report. Uh, it's a pity I didn't have any science equipment on this, actually. We could have got landed at. Uh, it would have given us a little bit more science because we're, we're, we're still attempting to get solar panels. I don't really want to try and land on the moon without solar panels, and I definitely don't want to go to Minmus without solar panels. Um, why am I still showing all but level of surface? That's better. Um, now, hopefully, if, I wonder if I can... Yeah, we can just wobble this. So there's a little trick you can do, which is, if you have a wobble, the parachutes will not disengage straight away, and you can roll the craft. So let's see if we can manage that. So let's... There we go. And it rolls down nicely. Perfect. And then do that. There we go. Right. Let's get an EVA going on. In fact, you know, let's do a, a crew report first because we might not get back in. Oh, we've already got one from the Highlands. Have we already landed in the Highlands? I'm, I'm, I'm upset now. Yeah. Well, get back in. Um, recover the vessel. That was a bit of a fail, complete fail mission. I thought we were going to get some science out of it. Right. So, do we do another tourist mission? I don't know. I think I think we maybe do, and I think I'm going to try and put a tourist up without anything else in there so we'll do uh, we'll do something a little little cheeky all right so i want to send a tourist up because we're going to try and do a rendezvous i'm going to try and run i'm going to put tourist up and then we're going to try and rendezvous them so we need um not cheaty uh yes cheaty i want cheaty we want cheaty because cheaty's got that on and we don't need do i need that Yes, that's got a, a thing. So that mm, is mm, that. You know what? We're not doing that. There we go. All right. So there's Cheaty. I don't really need um, the decoupler, do I? Or do I? Um, do I want that on there? How much does that weigh? Nothing. That's fine. All right. <clears throat> so let's see. Um, I don't really want to be flying this with solids, but I suppose that could, that's going to give us stability that I don't normally have. Because I'm flying this without any SAS, which will be interesting in so many different ways. Um, I just need to get to orbit. Right, so we're going to put take you out. We're going to put in the tourist. Um, this is VIP2. Right, we're gonna save that. All right, you may die. Sorry about this, uh, Matt Burn, Matt Moon. I mean, we, we've had success with tourists, but 
not recently so um well well recently but not not so much in the past so yeah um i will not have sas on this so it's going to be a case of um fly and hope i think is probably the phrase i'm going to go for so we just need to get an orbit i just need to get an orbit uh, yeah we don't have sas i don't have the ability to have sas i don't believe i could have got the uh the reaction wheel doesn't have SES. It used to have SES. It used to have SES many, many, many moons ago. So there we go. I'm going to take off. This should be now stable because as the fuel runs out of these, this actually becomes aerodynamically stable. Uh, however, it's not. It's not currently going to be stable. There we go. Just do that. Come on. Nope. There, there it is. There, there it is. There it is. Come on. Just there. Just that's the one. That's the one. And now I want to go that way. That way as well. Uh, yeah, this thing, this thing's going to be stable going straight up. I think is the is the plan to start with. We're going to go straight up. Okay, that's the way it's going to work. We're going to go straight up, and then we'll go sideways. Not the most efficient of launch profiles, but I'm willing to go with it. I think I think I'm willing to believe in this one. I've just realised we're off centre because of that. That's not going to make my life easy, is it? I should have just done this without a probe core or anything. It would have been probably better. Right, they're going to let this lose a bit of thrust. There we go. And I'm actually going to cut the engine. Um, I'm going to let it lose a little bit. Let's uh, let's think. I want to go this way. So let's just do this. The air's getting thin now. Okay. Uh, there, 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 there. Right. I'm going to give myself a little bit of thrust. It's going to give me gimbal control. And then I'm going to put it down. This is horrible because I don't have any SAS on this. It is pure manual flying with a rocket and it's unbalanced. It is a slightly unbalanced rocket. You can see it's drifting nor like northerly. Northerly, is that the right word? Northerly. So I'm going to have to fight it. It's going to be a fight. I can feel it. Yeah, so you can't see this, but I'm actually, I'm actually flicking keys quite a lot right now. Uh, right, quite a lot. A lot indeed in fact um, once this gets to about a hundred I'm gonna stop it I'm gonna stop it at about a hundred I'm actually trying to this is really hard to talk about because I am actually trying to concentrate on what I'm doing so I apologize if this is rubbish so I want this to hit about I want this to hit about the equator I want it to be equatorial ish that's why I'm actually sitting above the equator right now um, because I can fix that later a little bit there we go come on get more my concern is that we're now getting to the point where there we go right okay this this is a bit more less manageable <laughs> uh, this is a lot less manageable this is not this is not fun now all right I just need orbit just give me an orbit up to here yeah so the, the, the parachute has interestingly thrown it off just enough to be annoying. Um, oh, we. That wasn't me. Right, electric charge is still there. So, uh, do that, do that, do that. Right, I just need to float it round. There we go. Come on, give me, give me the prograde. This is really annoying. It's really annoying. Right. Yeah, you can see it's 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 pulling. It's constantly pulling because of that parachute. So I should have put two of them on. I should have just gone, you know what? You don't need it. You can't use the hatch anyway. So why are you worrying about it, sea monsters? Why are you worrying about using a hatch when you can't use one anyway? But I didn't. That's it. Stay there. Stay there. No, no. Just come back. Come back. This would be a lot easier with a joystick. A lot easier with a joystick, in fact. Cut, cut that. Right, this would be so much easier with a joystick. How much electric charge we got? We got a bit of electric charge. Um, every time I touch the controls, we're using some electric charge. Although we seem to be getting some. I thought this engine didn't generate electric charge. So have I used five? See, we're using electric charge now. What for? The probe. Oh no. The probe uses electric charge. And of course the probe uses electric charge, which means this should have gone up second. Okay, so plan two. Uh, do that, 
slow down. No, stop. Right, I just need to get orbit now. We just need to get a little bit of orbit. Just to get the orbit. Come on. No, come on. Come on. Oh, it's so wiggly now because we've got such a loss of weight on things. No, that's enough. There we go. That's an orbit. That's an orbit. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do, Duck. That'll do. Right, so four minutes. So that was the worst launch ever. Let's run back to the Space Center and uh, launch the next one for this rendezvous. So this one's going to have a pilot, and I've got four and a half minutes until the end of this episode. So can we get at least into orbit or most of the way to orbit? That would be really good. And then next episode, we hopefully, hopefully do something. So I need to get a craft that's going to be able to do stuff. So I need you off. I need a parachute. Remember where you are? You are there. Right. Good. Superb. Uh, this is not VIP 2. This is, this is, I don't know, uh, meeting. Meeting 1. I don't know. It's a name. It's a name, isn't it? Right. Who are we putting on board? Yeah, we're putting you on. Um, that's the best way to do it. We've got the, oh, because we've got the VIP on the other one, right? Okay. That's why it's called VIP 2. That, that reminds me. It's okay. Two parachutes. Oh, get rid of that one. You, you are just a, you're a nightmare. Worst, worst idea ever. Worst idea ever. Should have just put them lower down on either side. Uh, save that and uh, let's launch this thing. All right, I've got three and a half minutes. So this is going to be our, you know what? This is going to go wrong because I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm going to do this fast. All right, get the speed up going. So T Z, fire the engines. Get the speed up. There we go. Super mega speed time. Start turning. Start turning. Start turning. Start turning. Go 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 go. More 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 more. I want to go over. I want to go over. Now these things are probably going to hit the main the main body of this craft, and we're going to have all manner of problems. I don't mind. If we do that, then Berlin is going to do a return an abort to to landing site or whatever we call it. I don't know what we're going to call it. We'll call it abort to not here. Get rid of those. And there goes the engine. Oh dear. That's what happens when you are trying to go fast. Yes. Right. We might have enough. I don't think we do. I don't think we have enough. Let's try it. Um, what I may need to make sure is that we don't end up with nothing to get to get Berlin down because I can't actually rescue Berlin right now because we can't EVA, we can't send another craft up. I'd have to I'd have to send up an uncrewed craft basically without SAS to get this craft back down. Um, so that would be interesting, right? You're gonna have a thousand. I don't know. I don't think you've got enough. You do not have enough. You do not have enough for orbit. Ooh. Well, what's that? That's the cheaty. That's the VIP. I don't have maneuver nodes. I don't even have maneuver nodes to do this. Right. Um, new plan. Bring everything back down. Reverse the craft. We're bringing everything back down. Because I don't have maneuver nodes to do a rendezvous. Why was I even thinking about it? Seriously. What were you thinking about, sea monsters? That's just crazy thinking. Right, this one's going to come down. Um, yeah, so what we've learned there is don't don't get too... Uh, I think the phrase is cocky. I think the phrase is cocky. Don't get too cocky. Because, uh, yeah, it will bite you in the... Right, um, you know what? Get rid of that. Off we go. Right, so this one's going to come down in the next minute while we've got the... Um, well, we've got the, the the clock counting down. So what have we learned? We've learned that I um, I took an opportunity there, which was send up a craft and try and do the rendezvous. I cannot do the rendezvous because um, I don't have maneuver nodes. And because I don't have maneuver nodes, it, it would be almost impossible to do that rendezvous. I mean, I, I could try. It would not be impossible. And I'm actually annoyed now that I didn't even try. But this craft did not have enough fuel to even try to do that. Um, I think we what we need to do is next episode I'm going to give it another go. We're going to give it another go, and um, we'll see. Can you actually? You know what? We're going to see something. Can you? Can you target them? You can't even target them. Okay. So you need to be within visual range. 
you need to be within visual range before you can uh, before you can actually do anything so that's interesting so you can target them when you're in visible range oh and that's the end of this episode so i will land this and i will see you at the start of the next one